Hello, Cyberduck here. So today really quick I want to show you um, for iPad 2, this also works for iPad 3 and iPad 4 but the location of the components are different. So this today's solution is iPad 2 USB not charging, not detect or fake charging solution repair kit. So basically uh, sometimes when you get iPad 2 the board gets just short and at least either one of these four components if one of these components shorts, you get USB charging cable plug in here and goes to the power regulation IC, then it goes to these four components, then it goes to the battery, and the battery doesn't get charged if one of these four goes bad. And this these are the most likely component that goes bad. So what you can do is you can buy you can go to cyberdog.lc.com and buy the solution kit which is the uh, USB IC. USB filter, USB dial, and USB capacitor for iPad. The same component is also used in iPad 2, uh, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, but the locations are different. Uh, to find out their location, you can visit our website and go to iPad 3 and iPad 4's uh, page and then find the USB not charging protection kit. It's only $20, and we also do this repair for mailing repair but you can if you want to do it yourself and do the repair yourself you can you can get the components for twenty dollars so this is an iPad 2 that was fixed with the it was sending to get the um, to get the USB power fixed it wasn't charging before and as you can see this is the USB filter I need to be careful not touching this component with my dental pick because right now it's plugged in and it's charging so this is already these parts are already replaced. This is the backlight filter. I'm oh, sorry, not, not the backlight filter. The USB filter, USB IC, which was uh, removed and replaced with new one. This is the USB capacitor. And hold on, let me. Okay. Oh, camera got bad. Let's zoom in properly. This is very really small. Okay, this is the USB diode, which is really small. And it does have a polarity. So what you want to do is the lined side have to face upward, has to face up like pointing up. This this uh, dial, the line that side you want to face upward. So what you need to change is this filter, this IC, USB IC, USB dial, and USB capacitor. So when this iPad first came in, it was 14% uh, charging. Now it's 71% uh, charging. So we essentially fix this logic board from not being able to charge by simply switching these four parts. And this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get like a cut tape of the USB charging filter, charging IC, charging capacitor, and charging dial. I would make a repair video for this iPad, but I didn't do the repair. My tech did, and he didn't do the re uh, recording for this repair. Hence, uh, I am just describing the repair to you and um, these components. Okay, so that's all today. Thank you, folks. See you next time. I'm gonna wait until this number goes up. So as you can see now it's 72. Let's wait like um let's, see, let's wait for a minute or five minutes. iPad charge kinda slow.
Okay, I'll come back to the charging. This is like the charge phone now and show you our new um, solution website. So aside from the cyberdoc LLC.com where you can get all your repair parts for iPad and iPhones. So these are this is the iPad 2 USB not charging and when you go to like the iPad 3 page, these are the most uh, most common product that people have been buying. Uh, the iPad 3 USB not charging is also the same parts. It's uh, You get the USB IC, you have the USB filter, and this is the USB cap capacitor which is over here. As you can see. Um, the USB dial is on the other side of the board, so this is the phone side and this is the back side. This is the USB dial for iPad 3. And aside from our web main website, you can also go to our forum and solution page. This is a separate website. It's called iPhoneBacklight.com. It's run by Whites. He um, so basically this is a pay membership website. It's uh, twenty dollars a month right now. The rate might go up as the solution grows and we need more money to make the solutions so it it used to be like 10 15 dollars a month but now it's 20 dollars a month and every other month we increase the uh solution the rates because um, what happened is we once a member member log in they can access the entire solution bank we have so you have the ipads and iphones and Hold on, let me just look at, for example, for iPad 2, remember the non-charging problem from the web store? You can find the same solution on iPhoneBacklight.com. So this is, uh, th there's a lot more solution that's not listed on the store. For example, this is the same solution. This is iPad 2 not charging, not detect USB solution. As you can see, it's more complicated and there's more parts involved, which is not, um, which is not available from just a web, a public web store, which is free solution with the the parts involved. Um, this this is a more intricate solution made by White, and you can only you can only have access to these solution pictures and schematics diagrams that he made once you become a member. This is the iPad 2 home button solution. So there's a way, if you have a short on the home button, there's a way to fix it. Also, you as a member, you also have access to a private forum. This forum is free for the public, so you can, you can, uh, if you, even if you're not a member, if you didn't pay like $20 member fee a month, you can still see everything from the forum. The only difference is that you cannot post in the forum. Only member can post uh, questions in the forum and Whites will answer them if he can. So this is an example of a member's question in, and he posts in the forum and when, when White sees it, if he knows the solution and find it, he can type it in and then answer the question to the members. Otherwise, if you you're not a member, um, there is there is a free solution page. These are free rework video that I made. So most of the solution I post are free because I I also list on my website and my YouTube channel. Hence, um, I, there's no point to put putting it as a uh, private. But for the most part, the schematics whites make like the the solution picture you just saw that he drew. Those are restricted to member only because um, he needs he he needs to get paid and he needs to eat. So these these are the free solutions. You go through those list. It's pretty much all the solutions. Some some white solution like this one. White made it. Um, that he 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 made it public and make it free. So everything on this page is free. Free solutions. Free videos. Uh, this is I think I I post this. 
This is the iPhone 5 not charging, fake charging USB IC. So yeah, you, you have a if you you're not signing up for a member, you still have a uh, a page that's for the free solution. And some of the old solution maybe for iPhone 3G and 3GS, once it's retired from the uh, member private area, private paid solution area, then it will get retired to the free solution uh, rework videos and rework solution page. Um, that's about it. Come, come visit this website, iPhoneBacklight.com. It's a really cool website. Um, that White is it's doing. It's a very cool project, and I'm quite proud of the website because we we're building quite a lot of solutions and a lot of active members on the forum. Okay, so now let's go back to our um, iPad 2 that was charging. It was at 72, now it's at 73. Boy, this thing charged slow. But the important thing is the, the iPad is fixed now and now it's charging. I guess using an iPhone charger is... I, I, I'm using an iPhone charger right now, I think, so the current is charging slowly. It was uh, 72 and now it's 73%. And before that, it was, uh, it was 14 when we start charging it and that was like our an hour ago maybe so that's it um, this is the solution again for the iPad USB not charging problem it works on iPad 2 it works on iPad 3 and also works on iPad 4 uh, if you if you want more solutions like I say you can visit uh, iPhoneBacklight.com and get more solution that for repairs so not all of the solution require replacement of parts. If it does re require replacement of parts, you can get it from uh, cyberdogllc.com. Most of the common uh, solutions that require replacement parts, you can find it from cyberdogllc.com. Some of the solutions simply require a jumper uh, or just resetting the, the way you, you change the components and uh, how you solder, you can find on this website. And they also teach you um, some of the differences between the each components from iPhone and iPad like which how do you fix a broken track like for example if you, you pin you broke one of the copper pad on the larger board you can there's a way to jump and fix it and you see those red uh, those are uh, golden dots these are uh, alternative routes that Apple left on the larger board too so they can test it but for us for repairing if you broke some of those tracks there's a way to jump from these testing uh, exposed circuitry running a wire to here to another part that's broken and then it would run it would essentially goes to the same track hence you jump or you bridge the circuit circuit track and you make the component work again without uh, fixing the solder pads. All, the, all that stuff uh, is explained in this website if you ever run into the solution and problems. Okay, I will make another video um, just dedicated to iPhone backlight. This is kind of tangent from the, the video on iPhone, uh, sorry, iPad 2 USB not charging, but since the iPad took so long to charge, so I, I took a little detour to this website. Okay, thank you for watching. This is CyberDoc. I will see you next time.